celebration, no holiday, no holiday sales are going to keep us from taking to the streets and from disrupting business as usual and from shutting it down until Palestine is free. The only green and red that I want to see this Christmas is the green and red of the Palestinian flag. We didn't shut down Christmas. We didn't cancel Christmas. Israel has canceled Christmas. This is Natalia with People's Dispatch. Right now, I'm here marching down Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. There are thousands of protesters behind me marching down in the major shopping district of New York City two days before Christmas. They're saying that there is going to be no Christmas as usual while a genocide is happening on the Gaza Strip. Israel, of course, being responsible for the murder of Christian Palestinians as well as Palestinians of all backgrounds. The Pope himself accusing Israel of terrorism. Protesters behind me are demanding a permanent ceasefire, an end to the siege on Gaza, an end to Western complicity in Israel, and freedom for all Palestinian political prisoners. Protesters have vowed to continue marching until there is a permanent ceasefire. In Palestine, where Jesus was born, our people have called on us to pause holiday celebrations. They've called on us to pause because there can be no celebration during genocide. In Gaza, in Jerusalem, in Bethlehem, in Jericho, Christian Palestinians are asking us, no Christmas as usual during a genocide. Christmas is a holiday that celebrates the birth of Jesus on the Palestinian soil. And this morning, the Israeli occupation took bulldozers and ran over pregnant women on their way to give birth. The Israeli occupation only knows how to kill, and they kill in more and more brutal ways. And the White House, the U.S. government, only knows how to kill or how to pay other people to do the killing for them. Genocide Joe thinks he can put billions of dollars into genocide. He thinks he can send more bombs and more munitions as if that were enough to break the spirit of the Palestinian people. We know better than that. Palestine will be free whether they like it or not. We don't hate that someone will go home with a new coat tonight. We hate that our people are sleeping on the cold, hard ground under plastic tents with nothing but an old coat. And I don't just mean in Palestine, in Gaza. I mean around the corner. This city is complicit. This city is guilty. And it has the power to make sure that everyone has the resources that they need. It has the power to withdraw entity can you can you say a few words about you know why we're out here marching um, at on Christmas like two days before Christmas you know why we're marching through major shopping districts if you really believe in the spirit of Christmas you should be reflecting on the teachings of Jesus which means to love thy neighbor no matter if it's over here or across the globe and if you're not if you don't care about what's happening in Bethlehem and the priests all said cancel Christmas you're just celebrating materialism and pretty lights you're not actually finding the true meaning of Christmas. Can you talk about why you helped organize this march right now um, in the major shopping districts of Manhattan? We organized this march today because there can be no Christmas as usual during a genocide. Um, we won't allow celebration as if nothing is going on while bombs are dropping on our people and while people are dying in Gaza. Can you talk about what our responsibility here is in the United States um, in support of Palestine? Our responsibility here in the belly of the beast, where our tax dollars are being spent on bombs and weapons that are killing our people in Gaza, our responsibility is to shut it down every single day until Palestine is free, to be in the streets, to get out of our jobs, to walk out of our schools, do everything we can, everything in our power to make sure that we end U.S. complicity in Zionism and free Palestine.